At the beginning of this school year, the children in my group researched and voted to decide what kind of class pet would best fit our group and our school. We decided on hermit crabs. The children got to be a part of every step from researching, reading books, and watching videos. We made lists of things we would need to take care of them and lists of jobs we would need to do to keep them healthy and happy. What's he going to do? That's their bigger claw. That's hey, this so looks like cool. her. That's so cool. Oh, Megan. That's amazing. Oh. Here's your other top set in the skin. When we were ready, we purchased all of the materials and set up the tank together. Once the hermit crabs arrived, we gave them their names, her, mitt, and crab, and we started our system of jobs to take care of them. One of the children's favorite jobs is to read to them because we learned that hermit crabs are social creatures and don't like to be lonely. Having this job encouraged children who wouldn't typically choose to go to the book area to look at books and practice skills like reading pictures and recalling details. We love to observe the hermit crabs in their habitat. We're able to see the processes and changes of the hermit crabs, like when her molted and shed its skin. The children often record their observations by drawing pictures. Is that when you take them out, home gets out a lot. The same as it, but what I know is same as her. But crab, yeah, I don't say that. Crab is really shy. Yeah. Sometimes he comes out with, but sometimes <gasps> he just can't. It's going to Bennett. And and a lot of the time we put this little salt water in so. Having a pet in our classroom has created a sense of responsibility and care for another creature. In these early childhood years, it's crucial to develop those skills of empathy, responsibility, and sensitivity to others' needs. Along with this, the children have shown such a sense of pride and accomplishment in taking care of these hermit crabs.